Do you want to get the free witch cat, the dressage outfit, and other useful items but don't have enough ingredients for potion brewing or maybe you just don't have enough patience to wait a whole hour before brewing another potion? Do I have a solution for you? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the potion brewing all of the time without needing to wait a for the cauldron to feel like brewing something again. And I'm also going to show you how you can brew a potion without actually needing to use any of your ingredients so that as i said you can get the most amazing rewards as always i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make sure to subscribe it really means a lot and now let's get into it so first i'm going to show you how to brew a potion in the cauldron using no ingredients i mean you're gonna need at least one of each ingredients or at least three ingredients if you don't know where the ingredients are. They're all over Galloper's Keep, though the herbs can also be found all over Jorvik. If you're not sure of where the ingredients are located as they change each and every day, I do post videos about the ingredients locations every day, so just stop by my channel and check those videos out if you're unsure. But anyway, now I'm going to show you how to get the ability to brew potions in the cauldron without using any of those. I think it's really not that difficult to obtain many ingredients since you can just exit the galloper's keep come back and they reset you can get them again but one thing that is kind of scarce are the soul shards and the more soul shards you put into the potion brewing the better the reward is going to be so anyway let me just show you what you have to do what you need to do is open your horse's like character box and then run off the floating island and while you're falling or I guess even while you're still running open the horse's name change window once you've done that and you're teleported back onto the island just go to your wardrobe or the closet however you want to call it and once you have both the closet and the name change window open, just close the name change window and go to the cauldron. Once you're at the cauldron, just put all of the items that you actually want to use in your potion brewing into the closet. I usually actually only put the items that I know I'm going to use. For example, if I know I'm going to use the soul shard, chamomile and wiggly worm, I just put all of those three items into the closet and not everything because I feel like it's just a waste of time. But you know, better be safe than sorry. You can just put all of the items away. Once you've done that, just click on the items that you would like to brew with and click OK. So for example, if I were to only remove soul shards, chamomile and wiggly worm, I would want to select those three items as that would mean that I'm not actually going to lose any of them. If they're not in your backpack, that means SSO can't like take them away. So yeah, you basically get a free potion brewing. Anyway, once you click the confirmation for those three items to start brewing, and you're taken to the cutscene, quickly close the, the closet window and click on the cauldron again. You're gonna have this cauldron brewing window up and just leave it up and then wait and you get the reward. I actually got a cat here, which is like, I, I was pretty excited. So I have two witch cats now, which is like, you know, I'm not gonna complain. And this one was literally completely free. I didn't even have to use the items. Now onto the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can use the cauldron again without having to wait one hour. Let me tell you, Karin is my most hated NPC. She is so annoying anytime I just want to brew something, she just has to come in between me and the cauldron and say that no, I'm not doing it, but I am doing it and you're also going to do it. There's quite a few ways of getting around the wait time period. I mean, even just standing around, I think it takes like five minutes if you're literally just standing next to the cauldron. Though I'm not sure if that always works. Sometimes I just go run around, come back and I can already brew a potion again. But other times I log out of the game for a good half hour, come back and then Karin is still like screaming at me for bothering the cauldron. But one way that 100% works is just doing one activity. For example, you can do a race, you can do the pumpkin hunt, the trail ride, 
or the like pac-man game just try to grow potion and, and when cutting stops you go ahead and do one of those activities return and voila you can now brew another potion and you know again you can do it for free or you can actually use your items just do whatever you want and you can basically do this an infinite amount of times which is really great i just wish there was no time limit for potion brewing i feel like it would make it so much more fun because i'm the type of player to kind of gather all of the needed items and then I want to like collect all of the things all at once but I obviously can't do it here but you know now I can and you can also do it so anyway this is gonna be it for this video I hope it helped and I'm gonna see you in my next one bye <laughs>
Thank you.